Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today. I'm going to be showing you kind of a shortcut to solve a problem like this, where basically you're trying to make a function continuous uh, for all x values for some given piecewise function that we have. So you can see here we're trying to find the value of k that makes this function continuous, where k is a constant, um, and we're given that f of x is this piecewise function here. So this is a pretty similar process um, to you know really any kind of problem where you're trying to find the value of one or a few constants within a piecewise function that'll make it continuous everywhere. Um, really, when you're doing a pro problem like this, the first thing you want to think about is just making sure that each piece by itself, if you imagine this function within the domain that it's defined on, you just want to kind of think about whether it's continuous there first. Um, and you can see just by looking at this, both of these are going to be linear functions. So regardless of what our constant k is, a linear function is going to be continuous everywhere. So each of these functions, if we had y equals 1 third x plus 6, and if we had k minus 2x, y equals k minus 2x, both of those functions would be continuous for any x value you put in there. So what that tells you is really the only place that we need to really make sure that this piecewise function is continuous is when we switch from one function to the other, which happens at x equals 9, right? For all x less than 9, we're going to be using this function. And then for all x greater than or equal to 9, we're going to use this function to define our f of x. So that means at x equals 9, we kind of switch between these two. So in order to figure out what k needs to be to make this entire piecewise function continuous, we just need to make sure that these two pieces of our piecewise function line up when x equals 9. So to do that, all we have to really do is plug in x equals 9 into each of these pieces and set them equal to each other to make sure that they line up at that point. So doing that for this first function here, we're going to get 1 third times 9 plus 6, and we need to make sure that equals k minus 2 times 9, right? All we did was just go to each of these functions and replace our x with 9. So that gave us this equation. So now all we need to do is solve this equation for k, and that will make sure the function is continuous. So 1 third times 9 is 3 plus 6, and that's going to equal k minus 2 times 9 is 18. And then... I'll just kind of erase this. 3 plus 6 is 9, equals k minus 18. And then we can add 18 to both sides. And that'll give us k equals 9 plus 18, which is 27. So go check out a couple of these other videos here for solving similar problems, making piecewise functions continuous. So you can really get some more practice with this. And I hope it helps.